Homestead. Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So let's talk about why we do not use BT. It's very simple. BT is an organic insecticide that is targeted for, you ready for this? Moths, butterflies, black flies, and beetles. Now, it's gonna kill indiscriminately. And I don't really have a problem with that, except for I'm encouraging all of my pollinators this year with cover crops. So something else I realized when I did a little bit of studying about this BT was the price. Guys, for eight ounces, the cheapest I could find it was a $9.97 on Amazon. For a gallon, it was $74.69. That's a lot of money for something that takes one to five days to kill the larvae of that moth. The, I almost said black soldier fly. The larvae of the moth, the squash vine borer. So let's talk about that. Some of the other things, you can spray it. From what I saw, there was like a powder form that you can sprinkle or you can inject it. So to inject it in something like this pumpkin plant back here, or your squash, or your cucumbers, or your melaton, or your gourd, any of that, guys, you're gonna need needles. Now, if you have children or pets, and you're not very careful, you could actually cause injury or harm to a beloved pet or a child. Also, if you're using needles, you really need to have the proper container to dispose of those needles, or it ends up in our landfills, on the side of the road, in the bottom of your garbage can, or possibly in a river, a lake, or a pond where it could accidentally harm someone. So those are just a few of the reasons I'm not really that big on using BT. It actually takes one to five days to kill that larvae. And the way that it's gonna kill it is it's going to cause it to starve to death. Now, during that one to five days, that larvae is gonna do quite a bit of damage to your squash pine plant, all right? Or any of your Cubert family. So something that we do here at Starkey Farmstead, that, and I did my studying on this too, is only gonna cost you a total of $5 with tax, is Vaseline and hot sauce. Now, a lot of people are like, I don't want a petroleum-based product in my food or on my food. Guys, they use petroleum-based products so much in the food that you're already eating. Okay, so the way that it works with the hot sauce is when you see the damage caused by the squash vine borer, where the larvae has bored into your plant, you just put a couple of drops of hot sauce into that hole. What is that gonna do? Well, it's gonna burn the fire out of that little squiggly bug. All right, so it's soft bodied already. And what happens is, just like when you get hot sauce on your fingers or in your eye or in your mouth and you don't have milk or bread to eat, it burns, right? So when you put the hot sauce into that hole, now you can just pour it into the hole with the bottle, shake it in there, or you can use a medicine dropper, or if you're already diabetic or you already have the needles for your BT, you could inject it into the hole. Now, that's gonna burn the little larvae but the kicker is you cover the hole with a smidgen of vaseline so it's going to block the oxygen that that insect that little larvae needs okay so you're blocking off its oxygen you're burning it you're blocking off its oxygen and guys i'm telling you it's literally going to come back out the hole that it chewed to get into your plant that larva is coming out that exact same hole. So now you have evidence that you have efficiently and effectively removed the larvae from your plant. Now, I had a gentleman tell me that he actually had just injected his plants with BT when he saw my video on Vaseline and hot sauce on how to treat your plants for squash vine borer. So what did he do? He went back to the exact same plants that he had just put BT into the plant about a day or two before, and he put the hot sauce in the plant, and he covered the hole with the Vaseline. Lo and behold, 
two living squash vine borers came out of the plant within a couple of hours of his application of hot sauce and Vaseline. So guys, it absolutely works. It costs you $5. It's no more toxic to you than using BT. And the last reason that I really just avoid using the BT guys comes down to the fact that here on Starkey Farmstead, we do raise small livestock. And one of the ways that I feed my chickens economically is to support the natural black fly population on my property. So knowing that BT is actually aimed at things like moths, butterflies, black flies, mosquitoes, I have to, and beetles, I have to be a little careful. I don't want to use anything that may inadvertently reduce my black soldier fly larvae and flies on my property because that is a big protein source for our chickens from spring until fall. It helps us continually reduce the cost of raising fresh organic meat for ourselves and for our customers. Time that I think about applying something to deter pest and predators from my property, I need to think through why they're there, what they're gonna do, and how is that gonna affect my property and the other animals that might be on it. So I hope that this helps you guys. Just remember, gardening doesn't have to be that expensive. Gardening doesn't have to make you turn yourself into a scientist or use products that you really don't understand what their purpose is. BT might be an effective way to kill squash vine borers, but you're not gonna get any cheaper or any easier than simply using what you probably already have in your house. So I hope that this, guys, I hope that this helps you. I hope that this encourages you. Garden with us this summer here in Southeast Louisiana in zone 9A, 9B, because I'm telling y'all, it doesn't get much buggier than Southeast Louisiana. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you for rowing in our boat. Thank you for letting us row in yours. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, or you might miss our next really cool and expensive way to totally organic and regenerative garden. Thank you for watching. Please tell me if you've tried the hot sauce and Vaseline and how it worked for you. I wanted to show you some damage caused by a squash vine borer. Now this right here came off of this plant right here. And even though the plant itself is not showing any real signs of having already been hit by the squash vine borer, it already has, I have the evidence. So how am I going to treat this plant if I'm not gonna use anything, including BT, that is considered a pesticide? Very simple, guys. I'm gonna find the holes. I'm gonna take a couple of drops of very hot sauce, pour it into the hole, and I'm gonna clog that hole up with, you got it, Vaseline.